Welcome back to our weekly gaming news 10 and 10 for the week ending July 8th, 2017. I have 10 stories to run down and I will do it in 10 minutes or less. Let's get started. And what cannot be a good look? A doctored Xbox One X Anthem trailer was posted on the PlayStation YouTube channel. The trailer that was played at this year's E3 was posted with the PlayStation control prompts poorly photoshopped on top of the Xbox versions. The trailer has since been taken down, and while this may not be a big issue in itself, it could become an issue if the PlayStation 4 Pro cannot deliver the same fidelity of the newly announced Xbox One X. Have you ever wanted to gift the game to a friend? Well, if you're a console player, that was traditionally not an option. Well, those days may soon be coming to an end for Xbox users. In a tweeted reply to a question, Xbox VP Mikey Barr indicated that game gifting would be coming to the Xbox platform. Something that has been available on PC for some time now is making the jump to consoles. In a seemingly innocuous tweet from Platinum Games has the internet buzzing and hoping that a Bayonetta game of port is coming to the Nintendo Switch. What has people so hopeful is that the image is arranged in a manner that is similar in color and style to many of the Switch Joy-Con promos. This could be wild speculation by the people of the internet, or this could be a clever tease by our friends over at Platinum Games. Only time will tell. Doomfist is here! In the July 6 Overwatch PTR update, Blizzard added long rumored and then sought after Overwatch hero Doomfist. One of the leaders of Talon, Doomfist is an offensive hero that relies on close quarters combat and his high mobility. Also included with this update are the long clamor for changes to loot boxes that will significantly reduce duplicates while staying very close to the current levels of credit received out of them. This update is also bringing changes to the highlight system, allowing players to generate their own highlights with a simple button press. Also, top 5 highlights will be generated daily and saved for 24 hours. Players will also be able to export these highlights as video files on the platform they're playing on. As with any update, this patch also includes various bug fixes. This patch is currently available on the PC, only in the public test realm. No word as to when this patch will hit consoles or the production servers. Earlier this year, when press on whether Call of Duty World War II was coming to the Nintendo Switch, Sledgehammer Games responded by saying there were no current plans. Well, in a recent AMA on Reddit, Sledgehammer was more direct, as when they were asked the same question, they responded with a simple no. This is not surprising as Call of Duty has been skipping Nintendo consoles for some time now. Not to mention that in, on Twitter in June, the head of Sledgehammer Games, Michael Condre, indicated that such decisions were being made by the heads at Activision. With all that being said, it is another high-profile title skipping the Switch this time around. Announced on Halo Waypoint, Halo 5 is getting 4K treatment. When the Xbox One X is released, you will be able to play Halo 5 in 4K. This will be a free update to those that already own the game. On top of that, all the remaining Xbox 360 Halo titles, Halo CE Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 4 will be added to the backwards compatibility program. With these additions, all of the associated DLC will be listed on the Xbox Marketplace for free. No dates have been announced for the 4K update or the backwards compatibility. Steam previously announced Steam Link, a $50 box that connects to a TV and allows you to stream your Steam library games from your PC to the TV. Well, in a partnership announced at last fall's Steam Dev Days conference, users of 2016 and 2017 model year Samsung Smart TVs will be able to stream Steam games to their TV without an add-on. The Steam Link app that we made available in the Samsung App Store will allow you to stream your games directly to your Samsung TV without any additional add-ons. Officially, there is support for Steam controllers and the need for a stable high-speed network to get the best quality when streaming. Another option for gamers is never a bad thing. From Uppercut Games, which consists of some of the developers who brought us Bioshock, comes City of Brass, a procedurally generated first-person action adventure. It puts the hero in an Arabian setting to dungeon crawl and battle baddies, sometimes with the help of genies. Uppercut Games plans on releasing City of Brass on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in 2018. To celebrate one year of Pokemon Go, Niantic has announced that the game has over 750 million downloads and generated over $1.2 billion in revenue. There's also an anniversary event now in progress, running until July 24th, where all Pikachu in the wild would be done in Ash's hat from the Pokemon animated series. There also are anniversary boxes in the store at a discounted price that include incubators, max revives, ultra balls, and raid passes. 
And our final story is about this past week's Splatoon 2 Nintendo Direct. Nintendo showed off some new weapons, stages, and game modes. They also detailed the Splatnet 2, a new phone companion app that will allow players to invite friends to private battles, league matches, Salmon Run, and Splatfest events. The app will also allow for voice chat and tracking single multiplayer stats. Nintendo's promising content updates that will last a better part of a year, as well as Splatfest for two years. Splatoon 2 is set to be released July 21st with the demo now available. Players that downloaded the demo that download the demo now will be able to compete in the July 15th Splatfest. That will do it for this week's episode. Before I go, I want to give a nod to the new challenges. If you enjoy Street Fighter V and or Injustice 2 and are looking to improve, the new challenges is the place to go. Offering one-on-one coaching, tournaments, and a great archive of instructional videos, the new challenges will have you climb up the rankings in no time. Head over to newchallenges.gg to find out more. Finally, if you'd like a deeper dive into these stories and more, join us on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern for a weekly gaming news show. Stream live on Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube. And please, don't forget to subscribe.